work this is Thunder Rosa and her random interviews and I'm still at the MWA and I changed for you because last time I was wearing the same thing when I went and interviewed people in Dallas, Texas but now here in Atlanta, Georgia I have switched things up with Marty Bell there you go so Marty, welcome to Title Match Network thank you I'm gonna interview you right now yes, the first thing I want to know is like who's Marty Bell? so Marty Bell, that's me uh, I don't know, do I speak in third person? Uh, uh, honestly, I feel like if we're talking about who the character Mark Bell is, it's just me. I, I like to bring a lot of myself into everything that I do because I feel like that's when that's when things come across as authentic. I don't yes. want to pretend to be somebody I'm not. So when I'm being a bad bitch, I'm being a bad bitch because that's who I am. Uh, but I just yeah, I just I love wrestling. I have so much fun uh, this weekend. Definitely, these few days definitely showed me uh, just how much I love wrestling and why I do. So it's just. Just bring your, just, it's just bringing me into everything I do. So bringing you into everything I do, uh, I noticed that uh, you're a very proud Dominican. I am. Yes. Of she course is, I'm not. Of course I'm not right now. Actually, actually, what? This is called the, this is Larimar, and this is a stone. Larimar. <laughs> it is actually a stone that is indigenous to the Dominican Republic. Ooh. So it is the only place in the whole entire world where you can find this stone. So I always have a piece of the Dominican Republic with me. So mm -hmm. being Dominican, I just I was just talking to Ashley Box Ashley. about you know some of the issues that she had as, as a gay wrestler. We as Latinas, and she's a Latina too, what are some of the issues that you have to overcome and how did you overcome them? I think a big part of it, like when I first started, is that nobody wanted to showcase that I was a Latina, mm -hmm. uh, that I'm Dominican. I'm a very proud Dominican. I am a New Yorker, but uh, si no fuera, from Manhattan, everybody. I'm from, from Manhattan. Manhattan. I'm from New York, New York, the city's so nice, I did it twice. Oh Honestly, if it, was, oh if it wasn't for my parents uh, and my grandmother raising me uh, in my culture, I feel like I would not be who I am. I feel like I would be missing such a big part yeah. of who I am. Um, so thank you, parents. Thank you, Omarita. Uh, and I think a big part of it was that, like not being able to really showcase that and not feeling comfortable enough to stand up for myself to be like, you know what? In this promo, I'm gonna speak Spanish. Are people being like, oh, but they're not gonna understand what you're saying? So what? That's not my fault. That's not my problem. Is that my problem that you don't speak more than one language? Learn. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it was really that. And once, and it goes back to just being yourself. Once I got comfortable with who I was and got comfortable in wrestling, it was kind of just like, me vale. <laughs> I'm gonna speak whatever I wanna speak. I'm gonna showcase whatever I wanna showcase. I'm gonna talk about being from DR. I'm gonna talk about being from New York. And y'all gonna like it. So recently, I saw that you were, I mean, She's a wrestler, she's also an actress. But recently she was in a um, reality, reality show. Competition. Reality called competition. Exatlon in Telemundo. So tell us a little bit about that experience and how is that opening a lot more doors for you in the wrestling business and in you know, and other stuff. So um, I got contacted by Telemundo um, a little bit over a year ago. The show, our show ended in October of um, last year. So it's been a year now. Um, that's crazy, it's been a year. Yeah. Um, and so they contacted me, they were interested in my story, they, were, they liked uh, especially Latina, Afro Latina, like it's just something that's not like. Cuántas Latinas hay en el locker room? Cuántas Afro Latinas hay en el locker room? It's, it's something that you yes. actually see yes. a lot. Weird. So it was something that they really liked, and they liked my story. They wanted me to share it, and in that, uh, I feel like it. Like I was, I was talking to somebody about it today. I was like, I feel like it's helped me so much, even with my wrestling, because it pushed me. Like when I tell you that it pushed you to your limit, I am talking about we're not eating properly. We're literally we're eating two times a day. Uh, and competing the entire day, yeah. and very small portions. You're sleeping on the floor. You're showering literally with a little cup of water. It makes you miss your family. It makes you miss everything. But one thing that I really, really noticed is that I really missed wrestling because all my other friends, even though like whatever other sport they practice, they were able to still like the yeah. parkour athletes were still able to jump around and jump on stuff. But like as a wrestler, what do I do? Like just start arm dragging people out of nowhere? Like I was like, look. Yeah. So it wasn't that was very tough, but it actually just showed me like how much I do love wrestling. And I do feel like it's maybe I've, I've met some really awesome people, people that do push me and do drive me to continue wrestling and continue being better. But I do feel like it just helped me conditioning. I don't know. It's just it really did change my life. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I saw it by the way on YouTube. You can still watch all those episodes on YouTube. And while you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to Title Match Network and join the six hundred thousand followers there. Well, the last question that I like to ask you is: uh, You have a boyfriend. No. I always ask this question because I'm annoyed. <laughs> Depends who's asking. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, no I am single. I am single. Uh, hashtag super single. Hashtag super single. <laughs> uh, I am single. 
Um, we'll see if that changes. Um, let's see. So, talking about the NWA, how do you feel about the locker room, the environment, um, the matches? This, so I was having a conversation last night with uh, with a friend, and I told her, like, I literally, like, after we were done yesterday with everything, mm -hmm. I just wanted to sit and cry. Because this is the first time that I feel like I have gone to a TV taping. I have been myself. I've put the best of me out there. I've been happy with every single match I was yes, in. I've been yes. happy with every single segment I was in. I'm super excited about the locker room. Like, this was our second time meeting. Yes. And we, like, clicked. Ashley, same. Like, literally, I had met her sporadically at Shine. Like, oh, hey, girl, what's up? Like, you just are nice, whatever. That was it. So, like, to actually get the chance to spend time with you guys, it was just so amazing. The entire locker room is so positive. Everyone's, yes. like, everyone's here to have fun. Everyone's here to help each other. Yes. Everybody's happy with, like, hey, girl, like, I saw you did this, and maybe you should do this instead. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching my match. Um, so I'm super happy to be here at NWA, and I'm really excited about everything that's coming for NWA. And just, I'm not trying to put the NWA over, but there's a lot of presence of Latina, of the Latina people here. They and this is like, girls in the yes, locker room. it's crazy, like we're speaking Spanish, we are, it's, it's amazing. Courage yes, to do so. Yes, and it's very refreshing. Refreshing and it's very supportive, so, uh, man, like, I was just like, yeah. No, it was, it was amazing, like this was, this was awesome. Like when we started, we were like, "Oh shoot!" Like yeah, like there were four that in the locker room. Like what is going on? Boom! Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, so yeah. So thank yeah. you guys away for uh, giving this opportunity to shine. Straight. Uh, last thing. Uh, where can we follow you? For so all the guys can send you DMs. You know. Like, hey, if you sign to my DMs with some naughty pictures, I will um, send them to your mother and block you. So don't do that. But, um, she has a wish list. You can buy anything you want. Yes, that yes, that you can do. I will accept that, and I'll send you a little thank you note. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Marty Bell, M A R T I B E L L E. On Instagram, it's Marty dot, dot Bell. So Marty dot Bell. And lastly, just to close this, what's your goal for the next couple of months? <sighs> to like honestly, to continue getting better. I got that compliment from someone today who's known for a very long time, and he was like. You're so like he's like I can tell you're girl. I just want to keep getting better. I want to keep having fun. I want to keep having good matches. I want to keep traveling. I want to go down to Texas. Mm. Let's make that happen. Um, Ladies, let out. Tilly, you, oh. you know. <laughs> yeah. So see you soon, Texas. I just yeah. I just want to keep keep growing. Like. Nunca te quedes estancada. Siempre para que no te atrás. Don't stay. Don't stay in the same place. So with that said, thank you so much, Marty, thank you. for being with us in Title Match Network. And don't forget to subscribe to TitleMatchNetwork.com on YouTube. Be one of the 600 mil, no, 600,000 people that already signed up. And make sure you give it a like to this, comment, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, ThunderRosa22. I'll see you guys later. Random interviews with Thunder Rosa. Boom!